Hey guys, it's Nibscape here, and welcome to a new video. We're back with Mobile Money Makers, and today we're going to be doing Barrows, so uh, that should be quite fun. I'm actually going to be testing out the new Strange Old Lockpick as well. Uh, this is from the Hallowed Set Walker. This will allow me to open up any door, which uh, should help me a little bit on mobile as well, because um, obviously I haven't got the Rune Light plug in, and I can't really remember, it's been so long since I've done it, the little puzzles. So that should be quite fun. Um, I've also got all obviously all my stuff in my inventory so we can track exactly what we use at the end and work out our profits. Gear wise, I'm obviously not in the max efficient gear. I'm going to be just doing it in void to save switches and stuff. But uh, yeah, I've obviously got my melee switch for uh, Carol. And uh, yeah, so this should be quite fun actually. I, obviously, I haven't done barrows in a long, long time. And what little barrows I have done was actually quite fun. So uh, so I'm yeah, really looking forward to this. So uh, let's get on with the requirements. So for the requirements, the actual only requirement you need is completion of Priest in Peril. This is obviously to required to enter Mauritania. You also need partial completion of Nature Spirit Quest. And that is obviously to get to the Mauritania Swamp. However, if you're going to be using the Barrow's tablets or the teleport itself, you will not need this completed. Uh, for the recommended stats and equipment, I would highly recommend 75 plus magic. This is so you can hold either the Trident of the Seas or Trident of the Swamp. As most of the Barrow's brothers are melee orientated, they've got very low magic defense. And you're going to absolutely tear through them with high magic. I would also highly recommend having the hard Mauritania diary done. And this actually gives you 50% extra runes when completing the barrows. So uh, yeah, that's going to increase your profit massively. A quick note before we actually start the 10 hours. Uh, I'm actually going to be using the portal nexus with the barrows teleport. So obviously that's how I'll be getting there every time. And it'd be quite good because I can recharge my stats at the same time. Anyway, I'm going to get started with all this and uh, I'll see you in the one hour mark. Okay, so this is the first chest coming up. So I've come to a lock, completely locked door, can't even click on anything. So if I use this strange lockpick, ah yeah, so, so you literally can go through any door now with that strange lockpick. And I, and I guess it uses a charge and uh, now I've got fucking Darox going to about to fucking one hit me. So uh, let me fucking kill him as fast as I can and have a look at the first chest uh, a couple of runes not too bad I guess let's get back and uh, and redo it all over again nothing nothing more nothing nothing ah uh, fucking shit again nothing went a bit too high on the kill count so I got some bolt racks shit okay so the last chest of the first hour and nothing great fucking load of shit shit game okay so let's uh, quickly stop the timer a sec and yep let's do a quick price check and see how much we've made so far okay so we're adding the last item the bolt racks and the first price check comes to 840k so not too bad obviously i don't know how much we've used in supplies because uh because i'm sure those charges on the trident is quite expensive but um yeah let's get back and i'll see you at the uh two hour mark nothing same old crap hey our first item and it's a darox great axe so i think that's worth don't know, let's do a quick price check, but I think it's roughly um, roughly about a mil, so uh, let's quickly price check that. Ah, 824k, well that's uh, pretty good to add to the uh, add to the pile. I actually think I've had quite a few of these. Let me just have a quick look at the uh, collection log, because I'm almost certain I've had, a, I've had one of these before. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I've had three of them. <laughs> oh well, let's, uh, let's get back to it, I guess. Nothing, more shit, and even shit. Okay, amount of blood runes, I guess, real shit. Nothing. Accidentally got bolt racks again. Okay, so this is the last chest of the two hours and fuck all. Oh well, let's get back home and then uh, let's stop time timer quickly actually. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do the price check. Add our last bolt racks and the mine runes in. And before our uniques were at 1.8 mil, but with the Darox great axe we're at 2.6 mil. So that's that's actually pretty good for two hours. Obviously, I don't know what costs are yet, but um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good, I think. Nothing. Crap. More bolt racks. Nothing. Yeah, fucking guffin spear. Nice. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I think they're about one mil, I think. So uh, yeah, let's quickly go home. I'm gonna quickly price check this one actually. Nice, literally just under one mil. So uh, yeah, that's, that's quite tidy to our total profit. More bolt rack, crap, nothing. Mm, tidy blood runes, I guess. Nothing, nothing. More bolt racks. Okay, so it is the last chest of the uh, three hours. 
Oh, I forgot to actually mention, but I'm actually using a ZGS now, so uh, to get a freeze on like things like Darox. So now I can just sit back and take no damage as I finish him off. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get something good. Let's have a quick look in the old chest and... Nothing. Great. Anyway, let's get back and do our uh, price check. And let's not forget to uh, forget to stop the timer. So as you can see, it's on the three hours. Okay, so we actually have quite a few items now. So we're having to do the price check at the bank, which uh, is not, not a bad thing, to be honest. It's pretty good. But um, let's add the last couple of items in and the blood runes. And so far, three hours in, we're at 4,256,000. So four point, well over 4.2 mil. That is not bad. Obviously, we haven't taken any supplies out yet, so to bear that in mind. But uh, yeah, let's, let's get back and uh, and I'll see you at the four hour mark. Nothing, nothing, shit. Nothing, nothing, crap. Nothing, still nothing. Uh, nothing again, shit. Nothing. Okay, so the last chest of the four hours, and we get... Ooh, plate legs. Um, which ones are they? Uh, tour rags. All right, that should be pretty good, I think. Okay, so we've paused the time on four hours. Uh, let's quickly go and price check. Ah, oh, okay, so the, so the tour rags plate legs come to 210k. So uh, that's not too bad. We'll quickly add all the uh, all the rest of the items and see what the final price check comes to. Okay, so the final price check of the four hour mark is five million one hundred fifty thousand. So yeah, that's not too bad. I don't think I've got particularly lucky with a lot of the items. I think I've a bit under drop rate, if anything. But uh, yeah, I'm s still not too bad, so I can't complain. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Nope. Shit. Crap. Absolute crap. Nothing. Not today. Nope. Nothing. Nope. Okay, this should be the last chest of the five hours. Varric should be in here. Get the spec off. Nice. Now we can chill and watch him die. And the loot is... Nothing. Great. So uh, we'll get back. We'll do the price check. Uh, stop the timer. As you can see, it's five hours. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how much money we've made so far. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do, I'm not going to screenshot every single uh, chest opening all the way to the end like I did on the first five hours. I think what I'll do is if I get any uniques, then I'll probably get that on video. And then, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do a final price check at the... Uh, no, hang on, so get rid of that a sec. Uh, I, I know, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was going to get the final price check on the 10 hours and then we'll sell all our stuff, buy our supplies, and then, um, yeah, get our final... Uh, final profit anyway uh the final price check for five hours is just under six mil so uh yeah that's 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 pretty tasty to be honest that's not too bad let's get this time started and uh yeah i'll see you at the uh 10 hour mark or hopefully a lot sooner when uh when we've got some uniques under our belt yeah so we've just got the guffin's body which is pretty good i think we're roughly coming up to the six hour mark let's have a quick look at the timer yeah coming up to six hours so uh yeah that's, that's pretty good just got ourselves a Varax helm. Don't think they're worth too much anymore. I'm pretty sure they used to be worth quite a bit, but about 120 odd k now, I think. So, uh, not the best, but still an item. So not too bad. Wow, well, the time has come, and my uh, my charges have uh, gone down to 65. So I'm gonna have to recharge some of my supplies. We're at the seven hour 17 minutes mark. So uh, we're gonna have to sell a few things to to get get the money to uh, actually buy it first things first is we're going to sell the uh sell the death rune so we'll sell a thousand of them we'll also sell a thousand of the chaos rune so they're into sold all right that should be enough money now to buy the items we need so we brought 1000 zora scales and then obviously we're buying the fire runes the rest of the runes i actually have in my inventory anyway from barrow so i'll just use them to recharge it Okay, so now I have 1,165 charges. That should last me till the end, and then we'll do a, a final uh, charge right at the end, just so we know the profit. Okay, so we just got an Aram staff. I don't exactly know how much that's worth, so I'll, I'll do a quick price check. I don't think it's going to be a particularly a massive amount, but still, a drop's a drop, so uh, let's have a quick look. And, oh, it's just over 100k. Not, not the best, but still, it is a drop. Okay, so this is the last chest now of the whole 10 hours, and I haven't seen as many uniques as I was kind of expecting, but still, it's not too bad, and nothing on the last chest, obviously. Why would there be? Let's get back, and let's do a price check. So, let's get a quick look at the timer. 
as you can see, just over 10 hours. Pretty much bang on. And uh, yeah, let's do our, uh, get our items out and do our price check. Okay, so we'll start off with all the Barrows Uniques. So the Guffin Spear and the Aram Staff. And that comes to 3 mil. So <laughs> it's actually not the best. But uh, we'll add the other items in. To be fair, you could get lucky and get like a Aram's... Uh, robe skirt or whatever the fuck it is and uh and that's like two mil and just one item so yeah i haven't been the most luckier so before we uh, buy back our supplies we're at 10.5 mil pretty much so that's that's not too bad an hour but i i'm i'm, I'm concerned because i i do think it's going to cost a lot to recharge all my uh, all my items back up to the to the max okay so i've brought back all my supplies all my prayer potions all my runes um I've also obviously recharged my blowpipe and my staff and hopefully it did cost a lot so hopefully this hasn't eaten too much into our profit. Um, oh I better put my coins in actually because I had too many left over. So we're just under 9 mil. So we're looking at just under 900k an hour but to be honest that, that is actually quite disappointing but I could have got a lot more lucky getting a more valued item so... I can't really complain that much. It was still quite a bit of money. Ooh, actually, <laughs> that's it's even worse than that because I forgot I brought two strange old lockpicks. So that was for 346 k So I'm gonna actually have to withdraw that out my uh, out my final money, which uh, that's kind of gonna gonna eat into it even more. But uh, here we'll put all this back in, and then we'll take the strange old lockpick and see just how much profit we did make. Okay, so with the cost of the strange old lockpick withdrawn, it comes to 8.6 mil. Yeah, uh, not the best, but still, it was pretty good, so uh, we'll get on with the review. So, for the review, first things first, as always, we'll go over the profit per hour. And the profit per hour was 865,100, so it was just under 900k an hour. Still, it's not too bad considering it is quite an old money maker. It's definitely a bit outdated now, but it's still competitive, especially with the Elite Diaries done and a lot of the money from the runes. Uh, next thing we'll go over is obviously the AFK rating. I'm going to give the AFK rating a 2 out of 5. It definitely wasn't really that AFK, but... It wasn't too bad as long as you didn't kept an eye on your prayer, made sure you don't get one hit by Darok, etc. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, for the mobile rating, I'm going to have to give that a 3 out of 5. Honestly, it wasn't too bad on mobile. It, it was definitely doable. It's probably one of the most enjoyable things I've done on mobile, to be honest. It was, it, yeah, it was pretty fun, to be fair. Uh, overall, I think it is definitely it is worth doing. I think I got a little bit unlucky. I could have got like an easily could have got a two mil drop, like an Aram's robe top, robe bottom, even like the Kareel stuff. I think that's pretty good value. So yeah, it is quite a good money maker, and long term, I think you're gonna see quite good profit from it. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.